buddy, it's again here, and welcome to my unboxing review of the SH Figuarsh Mushabundan from Mashill Magic and Muscles. Uh, I like this show. I checked this show out recently. Honestly, I'll be honest, I checked it out because of these SH Figuarsh. I thought these things looked freaking awesome. Obviously, we started off with Mash because he is definitely my favorite character, and I feel like he's just the one you're going to start off with. But they did also make Lance and what's his name? What's his name? Dot Barrett, I think his name is. I'm interested in Lance. I'm not too interested in Dot at the moment, but we'll see, we'll see. I really like this show, though. If you haven't checked this out, it's a really, really, really fun shonen. It's kind of like a Harry Potter meets Black Clover shonen. That's kind of what it is. Like, the premise is similar to Black Clover. Nowhere near as good as Black Clover, let me first say that. And you guys know how I feel about Black Clover. But... It's a very cool show. It's got, like, Harry Potter elements to it. And you guys don't know this because I don't think I've ever said this, but I'm a huge fan of the Harry Potter movies. I love those movies. So I dug this show. I think it's really fun. It's got a lot of comedy to it as well, which is really fun. And this character is very fun. Like, he says some really funny shit. Like, they're, like they're, there's, like, a, a moment when he, like, starts, like, sinking into the ground because of an enemy spell. And he goes, what have I done to deserve this fate? And I'm like, that's exactly what I would have said in this situation. So I'm fully caught up with the anime I really really like it it's not the best thing ever and I don't think it will be for everybody the battles in particular they're not like black clover battles they're not just pure fucking chaos and insanity they're actually pretty toned back they're very similar to Harry Potter battles in all honesty so really cool show if you're a fan of stuff like Harry Potter or you know uh, the shonens that without like insane battle scenes go check this out I think you'll dig it but if not eh, maybe give it a maybe give it a try but go into it with modest expectations but I personally really liked it. I'm super excited to check out this SH Figure Arts because I'm gonna be honest, this thing looks fucking awesome. And I cannot wait to get this out because we have the Freeman SH Figure Arts coming out this year that I'm absolutely ecstatic for. And I really hope that this will like gauge my excitement level for those SH Figure Arts. Last year, SH Figure Arts had kind of a rough year. I heard that a lot of their stuff they put out from some other lines were not great. Like I heard the One Piece figures were not too great. And I heard the Berserk figures, which I did watch reviews of, those looked really, really, really bad. So I'm going to be cautiously optimistic here. I have heard good things about these Mashal SH figure arts. So hopefully we've got a banger on our hands like uh, Yuta here, who I dug out just to do comparisons with. But yes, SH figure arts, Mash. Let's take a look at the packaging here. So we have an awesome picture of Mash all like, let's throw down, motherfucker. We got Bandai, Tamashi Nations. We got Mashal SH figure arts, Mash, Burn Dead. There he is in the package. He comes with the freaking cream puff. I absolutely love that. On the side, even awesome picture of Mashburn Dead right there. On the back, you have a bunch of product shots right there. Kind of hard to see, but they are there. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of it's kind of hard. There you go. You can kind of see them a little bit better now. And then you got Mashburn Dead on there, and you got SH Figure Arts Mashburn Dead, and I think that's all there is to it. Let's pop him out. You get a lot of stuff with this guy. All right, let's pick him up for the first time. The only thing I'm worried about is loose joints. That's the only thing I'm worried about, because those SH Figure Arts Spy Families, those really, really rubbed me the wrong way. Except for Yor, who is still not amazing. Uh, that was a weird angle to bring her in from, but Yor was okay, but the rest of them had really floppy, and they were just bad. I hated those fucking figures. So, let's see. Hmm. 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 Ooh. Ooh. Oh, baby, please God tell me that the people who made this figure is also the people who are making the free rent figures. Oh my God, dude, this is what I expect from SH Figure Arts right here. This right here is what I expect from you guys, and I know you are capable of making great figures like this every single time, man. Let's pick it up, let's pick up that slack, let's get back into it, man. Oh my God, and you guys have a good showing right here. This figure is awesome, y'all. Really, really, really cool. Let's take a look at the face sculpt right here. So you see, you have Mash's fake, uh, fake, uh, mark right there. Very, very cool. Kind of similar to Yusei's mark from 5Ds, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. And then you have his mushroom haircut right there. Looking really, really good. The Adler logo on the back of the, uh, of the thing here. I was wondering why that was, uh, kind of twisted that way. Turns out it was just the joint. That's awesome. And then moving down to his robe right here. You got his nice 
red tie right there and the robe. And I think they did a good job with the color. I think they really nailed the color because it's not totally black. It is kind of a, it is a, a bit of a bluer black, but they did get that on this. It might look a little black on camera, but in person, it does kind of have a, a nice, uh, a nice blue fade to it, which is really, really nice. And you can see they even got his like under clothes back there. Like you can see he always wears like a workout suit underneath his outfit and you can kind of see it back there. Well, no, actually that's probably just the shirt. They probably didn't think that far ahead, but still really, really cool. He had his belt right there, his leg. This is crazy. The way that they did his robe right here, this is like completely soft. This is not even remotely pliable, man. It is super duper soft and it's really cool though. And then the legs right here, there's nice wrinkle work and they totally nailed the way the legs work. In the show, the legs always look like really like skinny and gangly and they totally nailed that in this figure right here. Super duper nice. I'm really, really impressed with this thing, man. And then if that's not enough, let's get to the articulation right here. So he has a base, he has a ball joint at the base of the neck right there, and a ball joint at the head as well. So you get tons of movement in the head. Then you have really good movement right here in the arms. You have this nice little thing covering up the gap right there so you don't see anything bad, but it has a ton of posability. You got tons of up, tons of down right there. You can kind of get it uh, up there if you don't want it to look ugly right there. And then for the elbows, even though he's got this super baggy design, look at this almost a full double jointed bend at the elbow. Look at that. That is amazing. Well freaking done, SH Figure Arts. Then you've got a nice joint right here. These are not loose whatsoever. These feel absolutely amazing. You got a nice movement right there. Let me do it right here because my camera's being annoying. Little shit bag. There we go. So yeah, these can go up and down and then they can swivel as well, which is super freaking nice. There we go. So yeah, these can go up and down right there or you can swivel them side to side. Absolutely amazing right there. Wow, this is absolutely freaking awesome. I love the posability on this fit. And then for the torso, you've got a ball joint at the middle right there. So you can get some crunch right there. A lot of crunch, really, really nice right there. And there is a ball joint at the base of the waist as well, which is super awesome as well. For the leg movement, you get complete movement up. That is absolutely amazing. Let's see the back. Not too much back, but also you do get a little bit right there, which is nice. He's obviously a very in shape dude. So you want to get him in lots of crazy fighting poses right there. And then the robe also has a nice little hinge right here. So you can have it bl blowing in the wind right there, which is really cool so you can like have these both flowing back right there. You're probably gonna need a stand for him to actually stand up like that, but still really cool that you can do that right there. And of course, if you don't want to, you can just bring them back in and have them laying flush against the legs right there. And then for the uh, knees right here, you have, oh my God, a full double jointed band, like not even a little bit of, uh, of slack right there. He can kick his own butt. The foosh would be so damn happy, dude. Look at that. And then you've got a nice ankle pivot right here. You got up and down. You got a beautiful ankle pivot pivot and you've got a toe joint right there. Absolutely freaking amazing. Oh my god, I love this thing. I cannot wait for those free run freaking SH figure arts, dude. Please tell me they're going to be just as awesome as this. Now for comparison, here he is with the SH figure arts Yuta Okotsu from Jujutsu Kaisen, which actually looks a little bit scaled up from him, but not too bad. And here he also is with the Your Forger SH figure arts from Spy Family, which is definitely the best of the Spy Family SH figure arts right there, although she does have a really hard time standing up. There you go. So there you have him with some other SH figure arts, so you can see how he looks with some other SH figure arts. <laughs> Here he is with the Super Action Statue Giorno Giovanna and the amazing Yamaguchi Aijiro Kirishima right here so you can see how he scales with some other anime action figure lines right there. And again, I think it works absolutely perfectly if you wanted to do some fun stop motions or whatever. I think that you are going to be able to do it. What a wonderful time to be an anime figure collector. Now if only we could just get some Black Clover figures, please, somebody, I don't care who, just somebody. And lastly, here he is with the SH Figure Arts Yuji Itadori and the S and not the SH Figure Arts, the Figma Yuji Itadori and the Figma Denji right there. So you can see how he scales with some Figma figures. And now it's time for my favorite part of the review. The accessories. Oh man, if only I could have had Creepy Nuts sing that. Oh my god, if you guys have watched this show, the second opening dude by Creepy Nuts, holy mother of god, dude. They did not have to go that hard. I fucking love Creepy Nuts, man. They ban they knock it out of the park every single time. I'm talking about a band, by the way. It's a Japanese band called Creepy Nuts.
Anyway, let's get into these accessories because you get a fuck ton. So, the standard face out of the package is just the standard stoic face, which looks great. And then along with that, you get a looking off to the side and kind of annoyed face, which does look very, very nice. You get a really fun kind of comedy face right there because he, uh, he's like un got confused or something, which looks very, very fun as well, especially to use with the other characters if you get them. Then you get this one of him eating a cream puff right there, which is absolutely awesome. And then you get this one of him looking down right there, which also looks really, really, really cool. And to switch out the face, I imagine it's our usual, just pull off the fringe right here, just get your fingernail in there, pop off the fringe, and then just pop the faceplate off, and stick on whichever face you want to, pops right in there, really nice, snug, and secure, and then just put the fringe back on right there. Very, very nice, very easy to do, well done SH Figure Arts, as always. Now for the hands, in the package you get some fisted hands, which of course you need those for Mash Burn Dead. And in the package you get a pair of like kind of grabbing hands, but they could also maybe be used as relaxed hands as well. You get a pair of gripping hands for another one of his accessories. You get a pair of kind of cupping hands. You get a hand to hold his wand, or it could be used as a pointing finger hand. And you actually get two of those for both sides. With this one, you can also use as kind of like a let's throw down hand. Actually, quick correction, these are both on the same side, and this one is for holding the wand, and this one is, like I said, kind of a let's throw down hand right here. Let's, let, let's throw hands, shall I say. So let's go ahead and pop on this wand hand right here so we can give him his wand. So let's just pop that off right there. And, ooh, they're nice little ball joints right there. That's really cool. So just pop that off. And it's going to be a little bit difficult, but just persevere and pop, pop. There we go. So there we go. So you can have it with that hand right there. And now we can bring in his wand here. And this looks like the wand that he gets in season two, the one from the uh, store that nobody could pick it up, but he can because he's a muscle man buff boy. So very cool that you get that. And you can just slip that into his hand, I assume, just like... That, give me a second. It's not the best, it doesn't go in that much, but that's not a big deal because if you know this show, you know that this right here is not really an important pose to have. He doesn't have magic. He doesn't use magic at all. He is like Asta, except not quite as awesome, but still pretty awesome. <laughs> so instead of giving him the wand, slap on these grabbing hands right here and bring in these awesome dumbbell accessories. Look at these freaking things, man. These are super duper cool. They are, my God, they're hard to hold though. They're kind of hollow though, I will say say super duper hollow but that's not a big deal just wanted to point out in fact that's probably a good thing so he can hold them up and everything so very cool and then I think you just gotta slip these into the hand right here just okay so with these you just want to pull it apart right there and then slip that into the hand and then put the other one back on right there and there you can have Mashil or Mash actually uh doing his weights right there and of course you can give him both so you just slap this out and get that in there, thread that in right there, and pop that in. And there you go. You can have him doing his warm-ups right there, looking absolutely awesome, which is super cool. But you also get a cream puff. <laughs> you get a cream puff. That is super fun. I'm probably going to display him with the cream puff because, I mean, if you've watched the show, you know how much this guy loves his cream puffs. You can have him eating a cream puff right there. You can give him that head sculpt right there. Pop the hand on the cupping hand and slip the cream puff into his hand right there. And have him eating it. That looks freaking awesome. Oh my god, what a great figure. Uh, that is it. That's all the accessories. So we can jump into the final thoughts. Getting into my final thoughts on the SH Figure Arts Mash Burn Dead. I think this figure is awesome. Really, really splendid job here, SH. H figure arts. Pretty much everything about this guy is great. The, the, uh, the way that they did the outfit is super, super nice because I love how they did these like super rubbery pieces right here. I would show you, but that thing is just like resting in his hand right there. So I don't want to knock it out, but the way they did these on these like really rubbery pieces is just awesome. All 
All the accessories are great. The fact that he that they, that they give you the the two dumbbells right there, the wand, the cream puff, the five different faces, so freaking great. Especially for the value, because I I got this figure for like fifty five bucks, I think, which is absolute steal in my opinion. So great. The sculpting is great. The articulation's great. Not one of the joints is too loose or too floppy. Absolutely perfectly tolerant overall. The character's awesome. The anime is awesome. This is a slam dunk in my opinion. I really hope that when I'm open that in a few months when I'm opening the Fluden SH figure arts, I hope I'm pretty much saying the exact same thing about that figure. I really hope that thing doesn't disappoint me like the Spy Family ones did. I hope it's this and not that, man. Really amazing job, SH figure arts. This figure honestly impresses me a lot. Very, very well done. Now, as for getting the other ones, I do like this show, but I, he is my favorite character, and he's honestly probably the only character who I'd say in the show is legitimately great. There's some other good characters in there. Like, I like Lance. I like Lemon. I like uh, Rain Ames. There's some other good characters. I like Abel, but I don't really feel like I need a figure of any of these, and I don't love this. Sh at, the, at this moment, I don't love this show enough to get, like, a ton of characters from this show. No, nah, man. Um, but I do like this show, so I'm totally cool with having MASH in my collection to represent it, but I, I like, this is the the kind of show that I feel like my love for it pretty much goes about as far as this figure. Me owning this figure is probably going to be my representation of this show in my collection. I don't really feel compelled to get anything else. That being said, I could change my mind. We're only about halfway through season two right now, so there could be great stuff in the future with this show. And maybe I'll change my mind and I'll want to go get the others as well, but at the moment, I feel pretty okay with just having MASH in here and once again, I think this figure is awesome. If you love this show, if you love this character, or even if you just like this show or this character, get this figure. The price is right and the figure is fucking fantastic. Knocked it out of the park with this one, SH Figure Arts. I'm hitting the SH Figure Arts Mash Burn Dead with an S+. I can't think of one thing about this figure that I would change. Thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe give me a like and subscribe for some more super- I'm not- <laughs> I'm so used to reviewing the Super Action Statues anime action figure reviews in the future and let me know your thoughts on the SH Figure Arts Mash Burn Dead in the comments as well as your thoughts on Mash Shield Magic and Muscles as well. Thank you all so much for watching the video and this is DK Guillotine, uh, signing out.